Hello again, all my friends in London, UK, and uh, bonjour, mon ami, uh, dans la France. I shall be there soon. I'm coming out of the Lewis Bar in Stornoway. I am the English poet Joey John Maguire. About to uh, recite my latest poem, and it concerns Bloody Sunday. And uh, just my thoughts. Years after the event, and I stress I wasn't there, but I was a member of the parachute regiment. So the poem is called On Why I Hate Bloody Sundays. Let me invite you to this moment of reflection on things buried over the years gone by, memories both good and bad, though the good by far outnumbered always. I cast my mind back to the troubles, where civil rights were being fought for, and rightly so. The bomb and the bullet, the method of the claim, which led many an innocent to die on all sides. I was a paratrooper, highly trained and skilled for killing, though never was I meant to contain riots. I was a shock troop, my deployment rural rather than urban. I wasn't there on bloody, bloody Sunday, though I do know men that were. Boys, soldiers and old, they did well to hold the line. I ask of you to bear with me, let us all imagine the scene, highly charged charged emotions out of control, sleep-deprived soldiers terrified by the mob. Put yourself in the position of the soldier, worn out, haggard and filled with fright. I wonder if when your life was on the line that you would always get it right. May I ask you to think on this too? that not all British troops were biased. I, for one, a Protestant, spoke out for the Catholics. And let me tell you, I suffered for my pains. I walked the streets of Belfast in a zombie mode, then again in South Armagh, and how I twitched at every unexpected shadow as I lived on constant red alert. Let me tell you a little secret. It was in defence of the Catholic cause that I found myself surrounded not just by terrorists but caught in the crosshairs of my own kind behind my back. I plead that you take time to understand that the troubles touched everyone. I know I was left traumatised an inheritance that will haunt me all the days of my life. Peace was declared. For that to take effect, we all had to sacrifice. With two generations permanently scarred, none of us wanted a third. There is little justice in war, and there are very few victories, and we all have harrowing memories that somehow we must overcome. I think I'm right in saying that even the most bitter hearts know that the only way forward is to forgive, though it is not necessary for us to forget. Joey Joe Maguire, out of the Lewis Bar in Stornoway, the Western Isles. Ciao, ciao.